Hello YouTube, welcome to the Amateur Science Lab. Today we are going to be doing a video about Kerbal Space Program. So, Kerbal Space Program is a space is a is a game about making spacecraft and launching them into outer space. And um there was this new update called uh, 1.7 that we are going to investigate today. So, we have our we have we have our uh, new game game and we're gonna start okay now that we've entered the world let's uh jump right into to the vehicle to the vehicle complex here we are in a v vab let's see what we have have that's new here we will find our first new thing let's put our command pod down and attach some some uh, fuel tanks to it. Don't worry, this will be this will be connected to the to the to the purpose. Here is the first new thing: the uh, the Twitch engine. The Twitch engine got a new restyling, and now we shall put the Twitch engine onto our onto our vehicle here. Nice. And we will be making a video in the we will may be making a vid a nice little rocket in the process so there will be a launch at the end. Now that we have our rocket, let's launch the ro let's launch it. Here we go. In five, four, three Two, one, here we go. Ah, what a magnificent takeoff. And look at that. We forgot the staging. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to do this again. Oh, wait, cut. Okay, finally we have the staging fixed. Anyways, now we shall launch in five four three two one okay again we have a nice launch oh my going side to side oh no oh no we're done Oof. okay rest in peace jeb but thankfully we can go back in time it's rewind time <laughs> I just had to fit a cringy joke into there. Okay, this time we are not joking. We're going to make a satellite. While showing off some of the new other textures. Okay, I just realized that we're beyond the three minute point, And now I'm just going to rapid fire some of these, um, some of these new features at you. We got the brand new Ant Engine. Here we have the new installed Werner Engine. We also got these two RCS. Finally, the new spider engine. Woo! This is the final form of my rocket. While we are on the, a surface, let me tr try out a new feature. This switches between sea level and la land level, so you can switch between... You can switch between... You can switch between distance from sea level and distance from land, the current land level, so you can tell that this rocket is 17 meters tall. So that's helpful. I'm gonna show you guys some some clips from from the launch. Enjoy.
Okay, congratulations. We are in orbit. So let's check out the other new features. Let's deploy solar panels. Another ni nice useful option is this button right here, the uh, the maneuver node button, which was basically the whole premise. It shows you the apoapsis, the periapsis, and uh, the time per period that you are in. Here's our inclination, ejection, land, and uh, ARGP, and eccentricity. Leave a comment down in the comments section if you know what any of those mean. Also, if it hasn't been clear enough, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Amateur Science Lab. Here, here's our here's our YouTube page, for example. Thank you for for 43 subscribers in one month of being on YouTube. Cheers. Let's talk about maneuver nodes. So let's just put a maneuver node down. Oh my goodness, it's, it's way too bright for you to see. So let's just drop down a maneuver and it instantly shows us how the delta V we need for this in each direction and what. So let's, let's send this on a course going back to Kerbin. Yeah, that looks enough. It shows us how much delta V we need in each direction. Wait, hold on, let me bring up the information for, for it. Well, I guess it disappeared. But we haven't... So you can see. There's also this option. Let's send it on straight on a course for for let's send it straight on a course for for um for carbon. We can also Also, we can meddle with how with uh how how this orbit will be. Okay, so now that we are now that we are in here, let's perform said orbital maneuver. I guess this is a tu also a tutorial on how to use maneuver nodes. Cool. Here we are. We are uh, slowly making our way, way to entering the Kerbin's atmosphere. I was gonna say Earth. Gosh damn it. And um, yeah, so we are ready. Ready, and let's check our periapsis due to with this. Yup, the periapsis is low enough. Also, let's uh, while we are, are in orbit. Let's use some of the RCS. Because why not? Okay, we are officially going. Let's stage. Okay. Now enjoy this. I'm just gonna gonna put this down. It's ten minutes long right now. Yeah, we should get this wrapped up soon. So for for you, I I'm going to to show you it burning up in the atmosphere. Time lapse. <clears throat>
enjoy it burning up in the atmosphere. Dang it, my thumb's in the way. Anyways, do you guys like my my me using my voice in these in these videos? Make sure to leave a comment. Well, um, thank you for watching, guys. This has been a nice tutorial video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on this video and subscribe to the Amateur Science Lab. Let's see how many views we have currently. Nice. Si 1.6k views well thank you guys for watching and let's can we uh please can we reach a hundred subs by the end of the summer please that would be awesome well thank you for visiting the amateur science lab and we are out have a nice day folks